Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna demonstrate the speed difference between hooking up your computer via ethernet to a wireless backhaul node and versus connecting it via Wi-Fi to the wireless backhaul node. Now, this is the Netgear Orbi 970S. It is the satellite. It is hooked up via wireless to the router, which is about 25 to 30 feet away. Now, this happens to be a very fast mesh system. It supports Wi-Fi 7, and I am going to do a full-on review for this, so be sure to check out for that video. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'm using my Mac Mini with M2 Pro chip, which does have a 10 gig card, and my internet speeds are five gigabits upload and download. So we'll start with the Wi-Fi test first, then I'll hook it up via ethernet. So, I'm gonna open up the speed test app. I'm gonna click go and we're gonna see how fast this goes. Now the Mac Mini M2 Pro chip uh, supports Wi-Fi 6C. It doesn't support Wi-Fi 7, otherwise it'd be going faster than this. And honestly, the Wi-Fi 6C on the Mac Mini is not even as fast as it is on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It actually gets faster speeds on Wi-Fi 6C than the Mac Mini does. So as you guys can see, getting 1100 down, 1250 down, I can run it again just so we could see, but it's basically going to be around the same. Uh, now this is an internet speed test. Okay, it's going a little bit faster this time. So, okay, it's slowing down, so I spoke too soon. But basically, you know, around the 1200 range for download and upload. Again, my internet speeds are actually five gigabits upload and download, and I'm probably blocking the signal a little bit. Uh, by standing in front of it because the router happens to be in that direction. So I'm going to hook this up to the 10 gig port and we're going to rerun our speed test to see if it makes a difference. And in fact, I will turn off Wi-Fi just to be certain. So we'll go here. I'm going to click go. And if I need to, I'll close it and reopen it again, but it should be pretty fast. There it is. So over wireless backhaul, I actually max out on the downloads. I don't max out on the uploads, but I do max out on the downloads. Now, now my upload speeds are five gigabits up and down. Um, <laughs> I said the same thing. Uh, my upload speeds are also five gigabits. So if this satellite was hooked up via ethernet to the main router, I would get five gigs up and down. But the fact is, this is the difference. So if you have a fast enough gigabit port on your computer, even if the satellite is wirelessly connected, it will get faster speeds, typically speaking. I mean, there are cases where it won't, but generally speaking, um, and it doesn't have to be the Orbi, it could be some other mesh system. It could be like a Deco XC75, for example, or, uh, or an older Orbi, like the Orbi RBK752. So one other thing I wanted to add to the video is I wanna do a local speed test. So I'll start the test as, I, as I'm explaining it. Now I've done an, actually a whole video on explaining the whole concept, so I'll give you guys a summary. If you guys wanna check out the video, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so basically I have a Windows machine and that is acting as a server. So I make that into a server that has a 10 gig card. I have a 10 gig switch. I have 10 gig compatible ethernet cables, category seven and eight. And I also have this uh, Mac mini also supports 10 gigs. The Orbi supports 10 gigs. So I have a full 10 gig local area network. So this is basically doing a speed test between this and my other computer. So I'm not going through the internet. So I'm not relying on my ONT, which is basically like a modem. And I'm also not relying on the public speed test server. So as you guys could see, it is way faster because this Orbi is actually much more capable than what my internet is actually showing. So this is why I like to do local speed tests. So much faster download at set over 7,000 and, and 6.4 for the upload. So crazy fast for a wireless backhaul node. If I hooked it up, if I hooked that up via ethernet, I would get full 10 gigs down and up. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and be sure to check out the full review on the Netgear Orbi 970S. Thank you guys for watching.